Hi loves, Jay here with your March Tarot predictions for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, or if you have Aquarius anywhere in your chart, cross watchers are also welcome. Thank you all so much for tuning in. If you're old or new here, welcome back and a welcome to the community. Be sure to stick around till the end so you don't miss your final outcome. If you'd like to book a personal reading with me, all of my information is in the description box below. I'll be channeling spirit messages throughout this reading. So let's tap into your collective spirit insights in which I am feeling. As I'm saying those, I'm going to get your cards out for you. Um, and we'll clarify each of those. I feel like you're going in circles, Aquarius. Going in circles about something. Not sure what that is. Some of you are becoming impatient as well. Um, I'll, I'll take that. Some of you are, be are coming, becoming impatient around something, and this is probably what you're going in circles about, okay? But I do feel like on the flip side of that, and this is something that you all have been deser deserving of with what you have been going through, there is some good luck or a blessing that is coming in for you, okay? So um, hopefully that's giving you <laughs> a breath of fresh air and something to look forward to, something that is inspiring for you. Um I'm also hearing you say, I never want to do this again. It's tiring. It's draining. Very interesting. Um, you're, you're tired of worrying, worrying about something. Not sure what that is. We'll see what comes up in your reading here, Aquarius, um, and, and go from there, okay? So um, I have the Ten of Swords. I have the Eon, the Ace of Disc, the, uh, the uh, Prince of Wands. We have the star, which is your energy, the knight of wands, the sun, as well as the nine of swords. We're going to clarify each of these. Um, let's tap into that most recent, that past energy. I won't stay here too long because I don't really do the past like that. Okay, we don't hold on to the past, but the ten of swords definitely lets me know that you guys have been going through something, a painful ending, deep wounds, been betrayed, or you have had experienced some sort of loss. Or you've removed something or someone from your life, but there are patterns and cycles that have continued that you're letting go of. Some of you have been in this energy of feeling like you failed, like things have just come crumbling down on you and you're feeling defeated, which is why you may be in this energy of worry, um, drain, tired um, of things that are constantly uh, going on in your life, whatever that is. Okay, so this is also some of you are in a rebirthing phase, which may seem very uncomfortable. It's kind of like the dark night of the soul energy where you're in this phase of trying to rebirth, but it feels very dark and uncomfortable. And some of you are still in this energy and some of you are now seeing the light at the end of the tunnel because you are, um, you are, your old self is dying off and you're trying to rebirth. And sometimes we have to hit rock bottom sometimes. You have to experience loss and drama and destruction in order to come out on the other end of that. Okay, so that is your um, most recent energy. I'm going to pull some cards around that. Why is the Ten of Swords here? Most recent energy for Aquarius. We have the Princess of Swords. So definitely your energy here with the Ten of Swords as well as the Princess of Swords. And I do feel like despite what you're going through, you're very insightful. So I do feel like you have a sense of hope that is coming through for you. Okay. And this good luck or blessing that's on the way should give you a little bit of um, inspiration and hope for the future. Okay. But I do feel like there's some things that you may be curious about. There's there's new ways of doing things. This is what the this is what this energy is all about. And this is what makes me feel like some of you have been in this position of just revamping your life, your friend circles, reconnecting with family or disconnecting from family, um, maybe even starting um, an, in a new industry or a new job, career, whatever this is. It does feel like a new energy, but I feel like you had to, things had to die off in order for you to get into this Princess of Swords mode where you're beginning to get, receive a little bit of clarity around what you have experienced. I'm feeling like your mind is beginning to free up as well, okay? And because it's been bogged down by a lot of dark energy, there's been uh, spitefulness, there's been judgment, there's been gossip, there's been all kind of things going on in the most recent past for you. So I do feel like it is like you're finally freeing yourself from what has been feeling uncomfortable. So I won't spend too much time in that energy. I'm going to move on to your overall energy for the month is the Eon, which is the judgment card in the traditional tarot. So overall, um, this feels like 
a shift of change, you making a call to make something better for for yourself, okay? So sometimes making things better is eliminating things and people that no longer serve you or changing things up, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm feeling some of you have been in a routine and, and now you're thinking of, I want to change things up a little bit. And there is absolutely nothing wrong with changing, okay? This is also, um, this eon is also about forgiveness. So this month may feel um, heavy for some of you because it is a forgiving, a month of forgiveness. And it's like, what do you need to forgive? Who do you need to forgive? You're really trying to look for truth in something and you have to make judgment calls that are going to be the best fit for your life, okay? Because there's, there's some fear and guilt that is coming up. But again, there is an inner calling for something for you to rebirth. So I'm going to pull some clarifiers around that. Some of you are seeing the number 22 often as well. Um, that energy is coming up. Why is the E on here as the overall energy for Aquarius? Some of you need to get out and explore. Do some research as well is what I'm feeling. There's a calling to do something different. We have the King of uh, the King of Wands energy here. Okay, so this feels like whatever uh, whatever this inner calling is, you're going to be a natural at whatever this is. Okay, so if this is starting a new business, a new relationship, I feel like it's going to unfold for you organically. This King of Wands is an energy of entrepreneurship, having a clear vision about things, honoring yourself, your time, seeing the bigger picture of life, overcoming challenges, and really finding your strength. Um, asking yourself, what are you passionate about? What do you desire? Um, these are very important questions to ask, okay? But I do feel like your confidence is beginning to shine during this month, and it's like finally, okay? But it's because you had to eliminate thoughts, feelings, emotions, people, all of that energy in order to see the light at the end of the tunnel, the four of pentacles. Some of you have definitely been holding on to something that um, felt uncomfortable. Some of you, um, I don't even feel like this is money. It feels like the pinnacles are, are, you know, synonymous with money. But if this feels like you guys have been holding on to something, maybe not even sharing your innermost thoughts and feelings about whatever, whatever you've been holding on to. And I feel like now you may... I th Aquarius, you got to get this off your chest. This is what I feel. You have to get this off your chest. So maybe this month you are thinking about talking about what you have been going through, talking about what you have been feeling. The alchemist is here as well, which is the mag magician. So I do feel like things are beginning are going to be coming together for you. Okay. I feel like you're going to be refocusing your energy on yourself and that is very important because if you're if you're not good no one's good your environment isn't good but i do feel like there is um a beautiful insight that comes in that sort of changes the trajectory of your perception of what your life is um how your life is moving progressing and you know the people that are around you like it just feels like a shift that is happening um for you and I feel like some of you, make sure that you're not burying emotions and feelings. Make sure that you are talking about this, that you are forgiving, you are healing and moving on from things that you've been holding on to. Because I definitely feel like you guys have been stressed out. But I do feel like you are, like I said, you're coming to the end of the tunnel and you're seeing the light. Okay, And now it's like you have a, a, a level of clarity that's coming up for you that you're able to now focus on yourself know that you're also protected as well if you have been feeling um you haven't been feeling secure in some sort of way like there is protection that is around you um but again this is an opportunity this month for you to get something off your chest to call someone talk about something whatever this is i definitely feel like you have to let it go okay an obstacle or challenge that you may face during this time is the Ace of Pentacles, where you feel like there is no opportunity for things to change. Um, this feels like a mindset for some of you, or maybe some of you may be experiencing some sort of loss when it comes to your finances as well. Maybe you're pour you've poured out a lot um, a lot into something, which could be you know also that Four of Pentacles was here as well 
which is you saving and, you know, you're trying to save and invest, but you may face an obstacle that's meant where you don't have enough to do that. Okay. That's what it feels like with the ace of disc is that, you know, that time may come up where um, you may have to pull from your savings. You may have to, you know, pull from some of your investments and some of you are not probably not going to be happy about that. Okay. But let's clarify this ace of disc. We have the four of swords. So you are going to have to take a step back. Okay. Your energy here, take a step back from something. Some of you may even be working really, really hard, investing your time and energy in something, and maybe it isn't lucrative for you in this moment. And you might have to make a decision to let something go because it's not working. Okay, that could show up in a relationship for you as well, but it definitely feels like you are going to have to take a step back from something. King of Swords energy, you're going to need to set some clear boundaries. Okay, it needs whatever this is needs to be fair and fair and just for you. Um, but I do feel I do feel like you're going to be exploring the truth about something and using your head of your heart. Okay, this is a moment for you to um, a move remove your emotions from whatever this is and really think logically and you are a very intellectual sign Aquarius so I know that you have the gift to tap in and tune in to what is best for you what is most logical for you what is practical for you so removing the emotions and I know for some of you what you have been experiencing most recently of um, a host of emotions Putting that aside is going to take some work. It's going to take some time. And this is that this is why there's an opportunity for you to forgive and let go of things and make things right, mend fences, whatever you need to do in order to move on. Because you're going to be blessed. The blessing comes when you let go. That's what that feels like. The blessing is going to come, whatever this good luck or blessing is, comes into your, your life when you let go of whatever has been holding you down, that has been feeling heavy, that has been leaving you feeling overwhelmed, um, that's sort of out of your mind. It just feels like you haven't been yourself, but I do feel like you are beginning to now um, see little bits and pieces of yourself coming back, but they are also looking different because you're doing di a different kind of work and you're not distracted by different things that are around you. We have the world energy here. The world could also be travel, but this is this is definitely a completion and a beginning of something. Okay, so you're integrating the things that you learn, the things that you've just recently experienced, the things that you're letting go of so that you can feel a sense of accomplishment here. So this is about you being whole and finding purpose in what it means to you to be whole, okay? And knowing that you are on a new journey here with the world. So things are definitely changing. And I feel like there's an opportunity for you to begin to celebrate life instead of dreading some of the things that you have been going through, okay? Just know that with this world card here, that you have everything you need, just like the alchemist that came out, which is the magician. But I definitely feel like you need to take a step back. Some of you are going to need to take a step back away, step, take a step away from, um, from people, from work, from I'm not saying you have to take care of your responsibilities, obviously. But there's something that you, you know, you face where you're going to have to just, you're going to have to, it's almost like accept the loss because at the end of, at the end of what you feel is a loss, it actually isn't a loss. It is a gain, but it feels a little challenging during that time. Okay. So something like that may occur for you during this month. We have the, um, the Prince of Wands energy that's showing up of what's headed towards you. So this may be someone coming in that is offering you some sort of like a spark, um, adventure something something it's something this could also just be a feeling or emotion of passion and taking action and being adventurous being impulsive fearlessness some of the things that you have not been experiencing when experiencing most recently i'm going to pull some clarifiers around this but i'm also feeling from this prince of wands that somebody is bringing in a message or something like that and maybe it comes in fast coming in hot <laughs> in some sort of way all right, so this flew out the Nine of Wands. So where you're headed during where you're headed during this month is really stepping into your courage and your power because 
whatever this is that may come in may test your faith, may test you in some sort of way, but I do feel the resilience that comes up because you are the wounded warrior, right? This is the Nine of Wands. We're saying you're going to get over whatever this is that comes in, okay? It doesn't matter. Um, it doesn't matter how it unfolds. You're always going to find a way to be strategic and maneuver through maneuver through this. Just make sure that you're again not pushing it down or throwing or putting it behind you. That you're actually dealing with whatever this is, Eight of Cups. So there's something that you are leaving behind and letting go of because there has been some fears surrounding whatever something that is coming in there's been some fears around something okay whether that is for some of you that is showcasing your um your vulnerable side and you know that could be a thing for you as well as really expressing your emotions and i know that aquarius sometimes you're very logical sometimes it is you do have a harder time expressing your emotions this is not for everyone but you're very practical in the way that you think and sometimes the emotions they come and go and you're just, and I feel like you're really you're tested to really feel your emotions right now, experience them and then maneuver through them. So that's what that feels like. And that eight of cups is saying like you have, you know, you may feel moments of disappointment or abandon or withdrawal with withdrawal. Um, but I do feel like you're walking away from those things as well. Okay, you're moving on from something. And this is why this Prince of Wands is here where I feel like there's someone or something that comes in that sort of gives you a revelation in a way and you're just you're moving past it. Okay. So it seems very general. It's not this doesn't seem specific because it's gonna show up different for everyone. But um it definitely feels like something comes in and gives you clarity and you move away from something else, okay? And this could be even someone else. What's coming towards you is the star. This is your energy. So what's coming towards you is a lot of healing, and it is a new start. This is a renewal energy. You have to pour into yourself, Aquarius. This is most important for you in order to make it over this hump, whatever you have been experiencing, okay? Some of you may be feeling scattered. You may even be feeling shattered in, 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 in some way. But this is an opportunity for you to heal that and move on, okay? Um, this is something that you're going to have to bear. Um, and some of you are going to have to bear it all in order to move past whatever this situation may be, okay? The light will be shined on something that um, you have been in the dark about. So um, be prepared for that. The Five of Pentacles, more energy of loss that's coming up for you, but for you, but I do feel like it's you rebirth, like rebirthing, moving past something that feels old and stale and stagnant. And for some of you, this is going to show up when it comes, show up with your finances or in your career. And most of you feels like a relationship. It definitely feels like a relationship where you're feeling like um, I've lost a lot. I'm hurting. That's what it feels like. And it. It also makes me want to cry because it, I feel your energy and being in your energy of emotion of I've lost. I've, I've had so much loss that has happened in the past year or a couple years. And it, it feels heavy and it's almost like it's hitting the head. I feel like the past you know few months, you guys have just been trying to put your head down and go and, and, and not really deal with it. And, and using distractions outside of you to... Um, sort of gets you through the healing process and now it feels like during this month during this time frame that you're going to have to bear it now you're going to have to feel it you're going to have to step away and be with your thoughts and your emotions and and in getting to a a phase of healing the two of cups is definitely a, involving a relationship for you Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn here as well. So um, definitely involving a relationship, a strong bond and connection that you've had. Not sure um, where you feel stuck. Okay, either you're feeling stuck in a relationship or you're feeling stuck in your thoughts or your emotions about where this goes. But it definitely feels like there has been some loss when it comes to someone, to a relationship that was very close and dear and near and dear to your heart and there has been a lot of fears that have come up and that's why i feel like with the ace of cups it's you walking away from some of the emotions that you may have felt about whatever this hurt may be for some of you okay but it definitely feels like you're blocked and it feels overwhelming you you're not sure like 
what decision do I make to move past what I'm feeling right now? So choices are going to be your theme for this month of really figuring out which direction you're going to go in that um, whatever this relationship, and this could be a business partnership or friendship or a romantic relationship, however it's going to show up for you. Um, I definitely feel like you've put a lot of emotions and thoughts and feelings on the back burner because you just felt like, oh, I'm okay, I'm good, but you really weren't. Okay, so what's coming towards you is having to deal and having to um, heal. Having to deal and having to heal. Okay, what's happening in your near future is the Knight of Wands. So this Knight of Wands, we went from the Prince of Wands to now the Knight of Wands. A lot of fiery energy here. Um, I, I do feel like you moving past these emotions and really accepting, being in a place of acceptance and forgiveness and surrendering to the divine so that you can move into an energy of freedom. Why is the Knight of Wands here? We have the Nine of Pentacles. So this is a sense of independence that is coming up for you with the Nine of, Pen of, Pen Nine of Pentacles. But it definitely feels like freedom. That's what it feels like. Free from the emotions and the thoughts and the hurt and the lack and the loss. I feel like you finally move into a place where you're happier, feeling more abundant, more prosperous, feeling more love. There's more beauty around you because it almost feels like, um, it almost feels it feels like, um, what was I going to say? Everything around you, it was like it lost its color, it feels. Everything lost its color. And now the vibrancy is finally coming back into your eyes. It's like the life is coming back into your life again, where you're beginning to see the growth and the love that you've experienced and all of the things that are happening for whatever reason they did. The devil energy Capricorn here. So... Very interesting. Make sure that you're not um, falling back into old patterns here because they, I mean, it, it definitely feels like there could be self-sabotage that comes up. It definitely feels like when you decide to, this Knight of Wands is reminding me like I'm feeling like you going back into the world after you have retreated and really did this healing process. You go back into the world and get caught up in some of the same things that you were doing prior to your healing. It's going to feel uncomfortable for you and it's not going to resonate with some of you because you have done the work. So know that this energy can, can possibly try to pull you back in and you may have to decide to let it go like for real, for real. <laughs> you may have to decide, you know what, this is not for me. Okay, that's what I'm feeling for you. It's like, this is not for me. And for some of you, if you are in a relationship, that Nine of Pentacles here and that Six of Swords is letting me know that you're going to be walking away from someone. Okay? You're walking away from someone that that could be either manipulative, someone you are addicted to, someone you have a karmic tie with. Whatever, that's is, whatever that is, I feel like you go back into the world without this person, whoever this person is. Because they weren't serving you. And they served a purpose. But they're not currently serving where you're headed now. So that's what I'm feeling what's happening in the very near future. Is you moving to calmer waters. You moving out of situations that um, really take you out of. I feel like it takes you out of your authentic character. I really do feel like that. Like it takes you out of your authentic character. And especially the work that you've been doing Aquarius. I do feel like you develop a different perspective per perception of your life and then you go into this world again and in this environment with the people that you love and people that you hang out with and you realize this is not what I want this doesn't even feel right to my spirit so there's a lot going on there okay your advice is the sun is to remain in joy and joy and happiness and optimism because there has been darkness around you you have been experiencing like I said Everything around you lost its color. And now you're finally stepping back into this energy of taking care of yourself, taking care of your inner child, which, which is the most beautiful thing, honestly. It's just the most beautiful thing to be able to give back to yourself um, and really establish a relationship with what is authentic to you. So I do feel like you have to embrace this phase of enlightenment and truth and honor it and step into just having fun 
you know, having fun and focusing on your success, focusing on your health and your happiness and celebrating life and the little pleasures because it feels like some of you are getting caught up in little things. Again, my last reading was about all of these distractions around you and you, it has made you lose pieces of yourself. It's really you getting back to this. Let's pull some clarifiers around the sun. Why is the sun here? So I definitely feel like, Aquarius, you guys are definitely walking away from things and people that no longer light up your life. We had the Ace of Swords coming in. I like this energy for sure. This is, this is a breakthrough that is coming up for you. New ideas, you know, truth being revealed and you experiencing or and finding the truth within yourself, which is most important. So things that you have been putting off, now you're going to have to make decisions about that. Okay, so you're going to decide to, you're going to make a decision about something. Your, your clarity is going to be so precise that you're going to make a decision about something that's going to benefit you in some sort of way. And I do feel like it's going to put you on a high. That's what I feel. Look at this. Ace of Pentacles too. So it feels like after you're letting go of this heaviness, people, emotions, thoughts, it definitely feels like there's an, uh, the universe opens up for you. Like it opens wide up. Opens up so, oh, opens wide up. Yeah, opens wide up. It opens wide up for you, Aquarius. And I love this energy. So there's opportunities for prosperity and abundance and um, for an obscene amount of growth. I feel like you are going to the, op the other side of where you've been. And I like this energy for you because I'm not used to you guys being down and out in this way. And um, it's really nice to see that there is going to be a transition that is coming up for you. The Prince of Wands. So the Prince of Wands is coming out again. So I do feel like for some of you, this is either a person or this is your subconscious energy that is ready to take a leap of faith and, and trust in yourself that you're making the right decision for you, that finding your happiness, your happiness and your joy, your inner self is the most important thing for you to reach enlightenment. So I feel like when you make the decision to choose you, Aquarius, things are going to beginning to begin to open up. So that is the advice for the month is to choose you. Okay. And for some of, for most people that is challenging when you're dealing with someone else to choose yourself, but there is a way to do it respectfully and with love. And um, if, if your person, you are with a person, if your person honors you and loves you, as they say that they do, they will respect, they will respect your boundaries. They will respect your decision may not agree with it, but there is a mutual respect there. Your overall, your final outcome is the Nine of Swords energy. So <laughs> here we go, you know, the Nine of Swords coming. I'm going to pull some clarifiers around this. But I do feel like this is like the anxiety and the worry that is coming up again for you. So some of you may be having nightmares or insomnia, even health issues that could be affected by anxiety as well. Um, but I do feel like you're going to be revealing the deepest shadows of yourself, okay? And that the worries are going to be in the wee hours of the night. Um, there's going to be emotions of, you know, guilt and despair that's coming up that you're going to have to battle with. And I feel like it's more of you battling with yourself. So sleep deprivation may come up as well. And I know for me, at least, I am extremely challenged when I don't have enough sleep. Everything is challenging to me. So sleep is very important. So this is what Spirit is saying to is to rest okay because there has been a lot on your plate and um it's time it's it, you need to rejuvenate your energy why is the nine of swords here final outcome we have the six of pentacles you guys have been given and given and i feel like you have been receiving as well but there's something around uh, you're receiving something and there's a lot of anxiety that's created around whatever this is that you have with someone four of cups energy is here um I'm feeling a disconnect, okay? So some of you may be feeling disconnected from someone or something. Three of Cups, okay? We have a lot of water energy here, which I know you're the water bearer as well, as well but this is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy, and again, earth and water energy, which lets me know grounding and also um, the water energy is very fluid and very... Um, 
spiritual conscious. So melding the two together to, to give you some balance. So finding balance this month is most important. Okay. Um, I'm hearing I miss celebrating. Okay. You miss celebrating. You miss living. You miss living your life. You miss living your life to the fullest because you've been bogged down by something, thoughts, emotions, or people. And I and and I feel like there could be an op, there's there's something that's or someone that's not giving to you as much you give to them. Okay. And this is why there's some anxiety or fears around you needing to make a decision about something. Okay. So that's the final outcome. I do want to pull a universal message for you to see what the universe has to say to you. Aquarius, one message for Aquarius, please. Don't be misled and see me uh, in their eyes. Don't be misled and see me in their eyes. Um, what this one says, don't be misled. It's when um, when fear speaks, it always it's always wrong unless being chased by a wildebeest. <laughs> and when love speaks, it's always right and usually bouncy. Okay, game on the universe. And this one is see me in their eyes whenever. Whenever uh, conferring with another, either face to face or across the miles, whether a human being, departed spirit, or a sentient, or a sentient tree, always speak to the highest within them. It makes such a difference. Amen. The universe. P.S. Yeah, as if some, <laughs> yeah, as if some trees weren't sentient. Glad you caught that. <laughs> funny. These cards are so funny sometimes. So that is your reading, Aquarius. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. I greatly appreciate that. Comment below if this resonates with you. Like and share with your family and friends. Enjoy the rest of March. I will see you guys very soon. Many blessings to you. Love and light, guys. Peace.